I think it's cool. <laughs> I really like those enemies. You just want to get eaten, don't you? Yeah. Eaten by Barnacle Chan, ooh woo. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Chew on my face, Barnacle Chan. That's going in your quotes channel, I know it is. Total, that that's a lamp. It could have been alive. To be fair, it could have. This is an alien incursion. Oh shit, this fucking hell. I can't need that. Where's the ladder? It's okay, you're a god gamer, you don't need it. There's not a ladder. You're, you're a god gamer. Where am I going? I think you do have to go in that door, I just don't think you're... Like... Oh, there you go. Yeah, some some of the uh, interactions require you to be a bit close. Something you will learn, my young Padawan, is that you will save compulsively. Before doing anything risky. <laughs> For reasons <laughs> evident. <laughs> Making our way around the facility. Making my way downtown. I've got a gun. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Ba -da 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 -da. Uh, oh, we're back here again. What the hell? Uh, you're on the other side of the chasm now. Oh, I see. Again, using elevators. Not a good idea. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really not, but you know, Gordon Gordon only has a PhD in theoretical physics, not common sense. PhD in car pushing. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> With my brains and your brawn, we'll make an excellent team. Are you not gonna react to that, dude? Fucking shot him! He's just watched his friend get fucking eaten. He's like, nah, chill. Let me in, you fat cow. Listen, it's a traumatic experience. He's going through a lot right now. Oh, hello. Remember, F for flashlight. You know, something people always talk about is the revolutionary cockroach AI. <laughs> I will die if I walk into that, right? Probably. I just gotta time it. We'll just go around. I didn't realize I could go around, I'm not gonna lie. Um, excuse me. What the fuck keeps killing me? I just want the ammo. I, I'm not sure. It's probably some fucking brush that they forgot to fix back in 19 fucking 72. Okay, the ammo's gone. I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, there are some finicky crouched. situations like that. You're jumping through the vents. It's stealthy, you know? Oh, that's pretty cool. It's a good bunch of cockroaches inside it. Hey, fella. How you doing? Yeah, so... Well, the dimensional brick Gordon. If I'd known it was you... I'd have let you in. Everyone's heading for the service. But you I saw my face, you rude bitch. Someone is bound to come by and rescue us. Um. You just like getting <laughs> licked, don't you? I do. 
Where the fuck am I going? The maybe the high voltage. Oh, uh, because the doors like you have to walk into them to open them is weird. Yeah, it happens. Why does my aim assist go to his crotch? I don't know. Where now? Oh, I've got. Do you want to go? This has been turned off. Now I see. Yeah. It's the, that sort of meandering around the facility like a lost child just turning off buttons and shit. Oh, so now the blade will be turned off maybe? Yeah. I see. Right, right, yeah. So, so I've played this a lot, but I still don't remember it like by heart. So there's a lot of stuff that I don't like fully remember. I guess that's all that's in here though. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of little, like, hidden caches like that of just supplies. Wait, where now? I was assuming through this door, but it doesn't open. Uh, try breaking the window. It's, a, it's the thingy glass. Oh, okay, you can just break it. It's the glass with the with the wire mesh in it, so I thought you couldn't break it, but nah. It's all just textures, man. It's all just textures. Smack it all. This is reckless destruction of property and you will be prosecuted. My head traps. Ooh, shotgun. Awesome. Try it out. Hey Gordon. My luck has to change soon. <laughs> Okay. Are you happy with what you've done? <laughs> kind of, yeah. My luck has to change. <laughs> Dead. Yeah, his his bud was kind of zamboed. He wanted to be munched. Um, go back to this bear for now. Yeah, again, that was another one of those little like side areas containing supplies. You got the shotgun. I haven't turned the tap off. Rude. Nope. There you go. I'm liking it. I'm finding. I'm finding my way. Yeah. And again. Oh this... my lord. Jump scare, head crab jump scare. There's more of them. Yeah, head crabs like to live in vents. It's, Ow. it's their natural habitat. It's ventilation. They like it in here. It's all toasty and warm. I think they like it because it's easy to drop out on people's heads. Yeah. Like that. Oh my lord. Like that. Calm down, you little shits. Last thing. Apparently that's made of glass. Your crowbar is leaving cum stains all over the environment. <laughs> I came through that way. I've not been here. Okay. I don't believe you can actually break that door, which is rather peculiar. Yeah. Where the fuck am I going? It's I another one of the environmental puzzles. Oh, I can move this fucking thing. I don't realize that. <laughs> I, I don't know what that zombie was doing then, but it sounded like he was going, Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Oh uh, yeah, head crabs make uh, little chirpy noises. It's, it's adorable. Noises. Oh, there's a ladder. What the, what, what the fuck's going on here? I'm stuck. Yeah, ladders in Half-Life. Uh, why why would missed. anyone install a ladder like this here? <laughs> You'll be asking this? yourself that question a lot. Also, look at the uh, foam paneling around you. Foul. <laughs> Yeah, a nice little nod there. I've always found that amusing. Hello! I'm on 3 HP. Might I interest you in our car insurance plan? <laughs> that wasn't a 
good idea. So, those I don't think I have right health for this. <laughs> uh, duck down behind the crate at the bottom. Did I save him? No. No. No, he's still dead. Head no scope. How the fuck do I get up there? What the hell? Baby box, where are you? <laughs> I need the health so bad. I'm on 3 HP. How about I just like do a bit of this? Uh, being able to interact through terrain is something that they actually, you know, you can't really do in uh, this game, which is, you know, it's a testament to the... That's a lot of dudes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Head crab corridor. Uh, oh wait, was that a thing in the original? Try right-clicking with the shotgun. Oh. Do the thing. Uh, yeah, right... Right clicking with the shotgun consumes two shells but is twice as powerful. Nice. Yeah, there'll be other sources of health up ahead. Oh, I'm sure. Hey, more ammo, good. Nice. Yeah, I I'm I'm a an addicted shotgun right clicker. I do like the shotguns. Feels pretty good to use. Yeah, Feels but pretty the, dope. don't right click on anything that doesn't need two shots to kill. Because you'll just waste ammo. Let's see if that guy could kill me. Hey. So this is some interesting mechanics. Indeed. There's some, there's some interesting mechanics up. with uh, okay, uh, uh, guards fighting alongside you. Guards actually, they won't tolerate friendly fire. They're like, they'll shoot you if you shoot them. But they will tolerate like small amounts of friendly fire in a fight. Yeah. If it's, if it's clearly accidental, yeah. Yeah, which, like, you would think it's obvious that, you know, they shouldn't be super mad at you for accidentally hitting them with some crossfire. But, like, at the same time, it, it takes into account exactly where the bullets hit on the body and whether or not the uh, you're in a current fight, etc. Yeah. And it's really, like, accurate to... Uh, Pinpoint. Quite a smart system. Just help, yeah. help on the wall. Thank you. Yeah, and it, it's it's a really interesting and fascinating system. And again, especially for a game that came out so long ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be able to distinguish between like friendly fire and hostile attack is to go to the surface what if the world finds out what we were doing down here where am i going he was just chilling behind the soda machine they got craig i i do agree with you the right click is pretty awesome Yes, full health. Where's my bodyguard gone? Oh, there you are. Mom, yeah, so uh, if you didn't hear what the scientist was saying, he was saying that the military is actually on their way to help. Nice. You didn't have to do that, did you? There goes my hero. <laughs> Watch him yeah. as he goes. <laughs> Another thing you saw earlier, which is really exemplary with regards to AI, was the bull squid attacking the head crabs. 
Yeah, I'm gonna say I I know for a fact that there's a lot of like inter like alien warfare. Like they don't just attack the humans; they'll attack each other and stuff as well. Hey, what the hell are you doing down here? Get topside! I hear Shut troops up. are coming in to save us. This place is a lot bigger than I thought. See, I say secrets. This, this might just be the way that I'm intended to go. I never know. Black Mesa is an enigma. For all I know, this could be the intended route to work each morning. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could save a fortune on vent cover costs if you just built a hallway. Yeah. The fuck am I doing right now? I don't know where I'm going. All right. You know, the head crab hole. I love how they're strong enough to bust through concrete as well. Yeah. I really don't know where the fuck I'm going right now. Well, you know, neither does Gordon, so it's in character. This is going to be like some fucking shotgun ammo down here or some shit, isn't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> grenades. And grenades and health and health <laughs> I knew it was going to be like you're going to go through this weird path and you come through a room and it's just some shotgun ammo but hey grenades are very effective but very hard to use because they have a really weird flight path ah okay I don't know which way I've gone and which way I'm going. I'm very confused. Oh, fuck hit me then. Oh, hello. But yes, uh, the AI characters have intricate relations between them. Like, it's not just, oh, alien faction, evil and work together and versus human faction like bull squids and head crabs are just animals yeah, yeah, yeah they're just and they're going to keep like hunting each other and you know eating regardless of their environment yeah, yeah, yeah. they ain't like super intelligent creatures they're not going to be like ganging setting aside their differences to attack the humans so you're like, am I going yeah. the right way now? Have I missed something? Yes, you're the... going the right way. But did I miss something back there because of where I didn't go? It's not the end of the world if you missed something too. Black Mesa is a very large facility. Meat. 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 Oh, hello. Meat. You can pass the meat. You can slap the meat with your crowbar. Nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh chunky. I just like eat a bit off, break a bit off of healing. <laughs> the healing in this game is actual medicine, not food. <laughs> but I love the idea that you're trying to inject frozen <laughs> slabs of meat into your veins like a crack addict just to try and get another hit <laughs> am i meant to be on that uh there is a way to get on it uh it involves what you're best at crawling around through vents yay oh yeah i see i see wait a minute Where the fuck did you come from? <laughs> he was... I don't know. I like to imagine he was hiding in a box. Whoa! Bouncy liquid. Whoa! I think it's meant to be ice. <laughs> what? That's meant to be ice? You can never tell in these old games. You can never truly tell. Huzzah.
I see. You've seen the light. Yeah, suit power is useful in that it, it, it absorbs some incoming damage. Head crab jump scare. Got them head crabs. I like the way they die. They just kind of do like the splits. Yeah, bull squids are kind of dumb. They just sort of flop over and die. I thought you were going to say bull squids kind of thick. They do the splits. That's a, that's a load of bull squid right there. Now, here's the interesting bit, right? There are bones in this ventilation system, but the, the whole shit started going to fuck like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> so why are there human skulls here? <laughs> Whoever the uh, the engineers that are like fixing the vents and stuff are, uh, they've been having a hard time in this area. <laughs> we don't go to that section of the vents anymore. Vents haunted. Yeah. Ever since Johnson went to that part of the ventilation system, we don't go that way no more. I like the way that, so far at least, uh, they've made sense of all the loot that you find. Like, it's not just like you crawl around an event and there's some shotgun ammo. There's actually a dead guy there with a shotgun in his hands and some ammo on the floor. Like, a lot of games yeah, are just cause... like, you're an event and you just found some shotgun ammo that's just there for, you know, reasons. Yeah, because, you know, everyone else is trying to escape this facility as well. Head for the surface. Yeah, you know, everyone else is trying to escape this facility too, using the exact same methods as you. It only makes sense that the ones who were less fortunate would be found dead in the uh, vents. Oh, it's here again. I've been way back around. You're making your way downtown, walking, walking fast. fast. Faces, faces pass, pass and there's a head crab. And a head da -na 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 -na. And a head crab. Da -na 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 -na. Gordon, mm. Chuck E. Cheese is a family entertainment venue. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking life! <laughs> what the fuck? Hello. <laughs> Rolls through a window. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you. More consistency so as we know, with the wood game, please. That that particular type of wood is crowbar proof. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> yes, I, I love that you had the, the foresight to save. I hate the metal sound on these ladders. It's horrible. You you get you grow to love it. What the fuck? You all right? There was a there was a guy hanging from that ladder there, but as you reached the top, <laughs> he fell, and you didn't even see him. <laughs> Whoops! I guess he died. Compl he died as he lived, unobserved. Well, Wagger. Oh, here. I, I guess I guess this bit here. Gordon, this isn't much of a good idea. None of this is a good idea. We've got hostiles. Yeah, so those HEV charges recharge your suit power. Nice. Like my flashlight and shit. Yeah. Uh, flashlight doesn't work off suit power, it works off its own self-replenishing battery. So those red lasers will trigger turrets nearby if you walk through them. 
you can shoot the turrets. The grounded turrets are basically enemies and will take damage from things that would hurt fleshy targets as well. Okay. Damn it! Look at jump. I live to be a tutorial. Yes. There you go. You've learned the ways of crate genocide. Uh -huh. Every, every Half-Life player succumbs to it at some point. Yeah, so red lasers are just sensors. They trigger turrets. If you can weave around them, you can avoid turrets being set off. Yeah, that's just right. <laughs> You're really... Uh, blue lasers, on the other hand, um, explode. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, so those are those are trip mines. They explode when you cross so... the blue laser, oh, so. God, oh, you can also shoot trip mines from a distance to set them off. Okay. So what were you gonna ask, sorry? Um I'm gonna ask it like Obviously, I don't, like, I don't really know how long this game is, but I'm guessing Half-Life 1 is mostly indoors, because I know Half-Life 2 is quite a lot of outdoor combat. There's a mix. Half-Life 2, Half-Life 1 is mostly indoors because outdoors is very challenging to do for games like this, and yeah. it doesn't look very good, Yeah, and they knew that. But there are certainly outdoor sections of the game. It just mostly takes place indoors because that's what they were good at. Yeah. Remember, it's the laser that sets them off. How about this? Turrets do also activate if attacked. Yeah. Um, but you but dodging the laser allows you to get the jump on them basically. And again, it's another example of uh, it not being simply a couple factions fighting each other. The turrets will attack the aliens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, they'll attack anything that moves. What? This fucking ice. Yeah, you know, speak of the devil, there were two scientists there, poor bastards. Absolutely. May they rest in peace. Getting destroyed. Where was that SMG that I saw? I want it. Is it over here? Now, pay attention. Last, thank God you're what the here. fuck is this? Oh, okay. Oh, they're here to just exterminate everyone, I see. Fuck off, man. Yeah, I'm the guessing military's that, here to save us. I'm guessing the military's here to just wipe everything out off the face of this facility. That makes sense. I kind of, I kind of half expected something similar like that. Oh, it is the American military. So. Well, I, I knew there was human enemies that when, um, that when, like, aliens. So, like, when the like, headcrab guys. So I was waiting to see how they shoot up, so it doesn't make sense. Yeah, the military also have really good AI. They use cover, they, like, use team formations, they investigate stuff. It's, it, it's one of the things that makes Half-Life a very satisfying game, because yeah, the enemies yeah. act don't feel brain dead. I, I honestly feel like there's there's way too much focus on like graphics and and like detail in a lot of modern games. To the point where like AI is just dog shit in almost all single player games. Yeah, something that I've heard that I that I think is very amusing that pretty much backs it up is that a single cockroach in Half-Life uh, one has more AI than a human in cyberpunk. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I can imagine that's true. Yeah, because 
cockroaches, even though they're just small decorative entities, they will run after like corpses and swarm them and like feed and run away from light. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. cockroaches. They act like cockroaches act. They gather in dark areas and will actively run away if you shine your flashlight on them. I'm guessing sort of the H, the H, whatever it's called, suit it acts like armor because it seems, seems to be losing health off my, off my suit before my actual health. Yeah, it doesn't like completely negate damage to health, but it absorbs some of it. Yeah. So, with suit power, you'll take less damage, and as your suit power wears down, you'll start taking more damage to your health. So it's not like a like a hard cut off, but it, it helps. Yeah. Take me with you. Come with me then, dickhead. Yes, yeah, so the military's what? idea... <laughs> the military's idea of taking care of it is much Kill like a everyone. Chicago City gangster's idea of taking care of it. Kill everything. Uh, another, like, detail about the barnacles that I think is... That's the Dangly Boys. Yeah. Uh, in, I, I realize you might not have actually known the name. I, I, so I did, To yeah. clarify. Um, uh, another cool detail about the barnacles is that they... They... Uh, when they die, they spit out, like, body parts. Right? Yeah. The amount of body parts is proportional to the amount they kill. Oh, nice. So, if you let a barnacle eat a bunch of scientists and then kill it, it'll spit out more body parts, which is a completely pointless detail. Can you imagine any game nowadays, like, adding that same yeah, amount of detail to itself? It's, I gotta say, it is crazy how much detail. It's what I loved about these, these smaller games, though, because, because they could do less with the actual games and the graphics and, and the, the gameplay and how much they could do, it meant that adding smaller details was more important to make a game feel more full. Like GTA San Andreas, for example, like that's got so many small details that all the future titles just did not have. And I think it's because it was made at a time where you could do less. Yeah, it's called forced creativity. Yeah, exactly, yeah. The marines will also throw grenades at you. Oh, that one's blew up. Yep, he's dead. Yeah, if you, um, if you hide behind cover, the marines will actually throw grenades to try and force you out. Nice. I thought there's hell about here somewhere. Okay, I'm guessing I had a time limit. Oh yeah, there. they are carpet bombing the area. realize I don't really have to be fighting those guys, do I? No, you can run past them. You can run past a lot of enemies in the game, but it's no fun, is it? We're here to kill. It's here to kill. Brutal Violence is the name of the game. Actually, the name of the game is Half-Life, but... That was a bit of brutal Violence. Brutal... If it was called Brutal Violence, the, uh... The oh, hello. Christian... Parents groups probably wouldn't have been too ah, happy with it. Ah, for fuck's sake! <laughs> yeah, it also has the old game syndrome of being completely unforgiving. Yeah. 
which I, I honestly like, but it can be a hard sell. I'm roof. Let's go! Oh, for fuck's sake, am I okay? Okay, I'm okay. That was close. Yeah, you were actually, you were actually <laughs> meant to fall down there. Yeah, that was close. Let's it's a room you were in before, actually, if you recognise it. Yeah, but it was. That's the turrets. I knew it. I was ready for that. Oh, I love that effect. Ooh. I love how the, the flashlight is actually like a spotlight effect that yeah, just yeah. follows where you're pointing instead of being like a... That guy was about to say something about killing 12 dumbass scientists. But now he's dead. Killed him before he could even get on with his dumbass monologue. Wait a minute. Oh, I see. Wait, no, no I don't. Where am I going? No, that vent is a bit complicated. There's a, a few branching paths you can go to for supply caches. Ah, okay. I thought I'd gone the right way and just couldn't figure it out. I wasn't sure if it, it was just that I'd uh, gone the wrong way or what. Let's keep going. Yeah, you went down Head Crab, head crab Alleyway. Lots of headcrab alleys. That's a health station. Oh. You were shooting at a health station. I'm gonna go get some, some of that health. Yeah, this is another one of those supply caches. It's the cafeteria area you were in earlier. How do I escape? Oh, that's the gun that I saw. Yeah, I remember that. Where now, though? Oh, there you go. Um, it's just a dead guy in the freezer. <laughs> what the hell? How do I escape? Gotta go here. This is just another supply cache. But, um, yeah, how do back I into the vent. Ow! The, the vent oh, opening that's... serves as a ladder. Mm, okay. That doesn't make sense, but okay. It kind of does. The vent covering kind of looks like a ladder. I, if I recall correctly, the first vent, you'll have to return to the fan room. Because the oh, first okay. vent is for supply caches, and there's a second vent lower down. Okay, I get it. It's for exploration. Also, someone's shooting at you. What? Ooh. It's fan room, but lower down in the fan room. Oh, I see him. Turret. Do I do I gotta go down there? You gotta go into the fan room, turtle. But there's the fans there. You I, can't get, I can't get only low. Slip lower. around the edges like a slippery sausage. Go. Ah, okay. There is a gap. I see. Yeah. So there's a handful of vents in here. And I, I, this is something that always trips me up. I have to remember which one the right fucking one is. Oh, this one's simple. I think this one is just a supply cache. I'm confused. So how long is this game, then? Oh, uh, it depends on how fast you play. Um, uh, uh, it's a few... <laughs> it's a few hours with a few depending very much on how much stuff like that happens. Okay. Right, I don't need that shotgun ammo. All the way at the bottom, I see. It's, a, it's only a few hours. A few hours being like... I, I don't know, I'm not good at like gauging time because like this six, is a game like I've played a lot. Like 6 or 7 or like 10? It's a, a few hours as in it's a game I've played a lot, so it only takes me a few hours. But then again, you're going like, to be guiding me, so I'll probably be a bit quicker than most people first play through. Yeah, yeah, but I also don't want to, like, guide you so fast that you skip out on 
that Dang. first experience relish. The dead end. Of getting lost in a vent like a baby trapped in a supermarket. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, remember when I said that some parts of the game could benefit from signposting? This is one of those parts of the game that could benefit from some signposting. Oh, here we go. This is where you need well, it to be. So much for the Their idea of is to everyone. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I'm going to stay here and wait for my colleagues. Yeah, grenades have fucking physics. Wouldn't you like to get one of these what? blood samples under a microscope? Yeah, I think that was just the weird placement. <laughs> That's a load of bull squid. Indeed it is. What I got, yeah. The the fan remake Black Mesa really improves on a lot of the areas where it's easy to get lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've got what do you think was gonna happen, genius. I thought I was gonna die, but maybe I can do it from out here. <laughs> maybe I can do. Yay! I did it. I achieved something. You achieved nothing. <laughs> Wait, am I meant to have this down or up? Oh. Maybe not. <laughs> Come back. Yeah, so the, the fan recreation does a lot of stuff that... Uh, prevents you from getting lost in, in weird situations. Go down there now. Uh, yeah, it removes a lot of the more unnecessary. Oh no! Oh, you did it. Um. Uh, this is peculiar. <laughs> I've never seen this happen before. You might may maybe reload a save. <laughs> nope. Whoa! <laughs> you, are the, you are the only person I've ever seen um, <laughs> manage that. I don't know what I was meant to do. Because <laughs> you couldn't, because you couldn't resist fiddling with a lever, and you screwed up the sequencing. What was I meant to be doing? <laughs> I thought I was meant to be using the lever. Uh, yeah, the lever brings the platform up to the top, and then you went to the platform, but you pressed it a bunch of times, and it messed up the gate. <laughs> I think that is a a thing that people know about. So I don't think you were the first to do that, but. <laughs> You're the first I've ever seen do that, and especially yeah, trapping yeah, yeah. yourself underneath it. See, this is this is why I'm good at finding all the bugs in your in your mods, because I just do shit that yeah, you shouldn't you know, do. It, it proves to me that I'm not the only one to suffer at your hands. There's a train bag there, by the way. Should probably use it. I mean, you you can walk, but do you want to? I don't know. I don't know about you, but I'm fat. I don't want to walk. I want to take the train. What up, foothold dog? Remember, you can accelerate the train even more. Whee! Well done. <laughs> Come back! <laughs> you missed your ride. Calm down, love. Calm down, you bastard. I didn't realize that I'd be able to jump while I was on it. I just had to I just have to try it and see. Now the train's crashed. How do you feel? Big sad. Fucking shut up, you butthole <laughs> dog. Just shoot him in the face. That's what I do when I want my dog to be quiet. <laughs> Meme. She has to learn somehow. Yeah, I did it. And now you reach what uh, is affectionately known as the cancer facility. Wait, what? The radioactive goo everywhere. 
That's why it's called the Cancer Facility. Or at least, you know, it's not officially called that. In our hearts. Gordon Freeman probably has multiple, like, when kinds of leukemia. Why would this ladder ever be used in regular facility maintenance? What's this for?